Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem F4-8 from R.C. Heveller Engineering Statics Plot Addition. According to this problem, we have to determine the resultant moment produced by the forces about point O. So to solve this problem, let us resolve each force into its components. So I have two components for the 500 Newton force, one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let us call this angle right here as theta and let's call this 500 sin theta and this right here is 500 cos theta. Similarly, I have two components for the 600 Newton force, one vertical component and one horizontal component. Let us label them as well. This right here is 600. Let's call this angle right here as 60 because these two are alternate angles. So they are equal. So 600 sine 60. And this right here is 600 cos 60. So now we have resolved these forces into its components. So now we can apply the sum of the resultant of the moments equation. So we have sum of the moments about point O is equals to, I am considering counterclockwise moment as positive. So we have, let us start with the horizontal component of the 600 Newton force, this component. I can shift it upwards like this. This is still 600 cos 60. This component is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction about point O, so it would be taken as negative. And now for the moment arm, the moment arm for this horizontal force component is this vertical distance from the point O, which is 0 0.25. Now for the vertical component, this vertical component is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction about point O, so it would also be taken as negative. And now for the moment arm, the moment arm for this vertical force component is 0 0.125 plus 3 meters. So 0 0.125 plus 3. And now for the components of the 500 Newton force, the horizontal component, this horizontal component, of 500 Newton force is trying to rotate the assembly in clockwise direction about point O, so it would also be taken as negative. So 500 cos theta. And now for the moment arm, the moment arm for this horizontal force component is again this vertical distance from the point O, which is the pivot point. 0 0.25 and now for the vertical component of 500 newton force so if i draw it like this i am just dragging it to right here this component is still 500 sin theta i just dragged it to this location Now this first component 
is trying to rotate the assembly in counterclockwise direction about point O, so it would be taken as positive. And now for the moment arm, the moment arm for this 500 sin theta is this distance which is 0 0.125 plus 0 0.3 meters. Let's call this equation A. We cannot solve it further until we find the angle theta. So for theta, consider this 3, 4, 5 triangle, this triangle right here. This angle right here is also theta. So by using the ratio of 10 theta, we have 3 upon 4. So from here theta becomes 36.87 degrees. Now we just have to substitute it into this equation and we will get our resultant moment. So we have some of the moments about point O is equals to Negative 600 cos 60 into 0 0.25 minus 600 sine 60 0 0.425 minus 500 cos 36.87 into 0 0.25 plus 500 sine 36.87 into 0 0.425. So upon solving it, we have negative 75 minus 220.84 minus 99.99 positive 127.5. is equals to so the resultant moment becomes negative 268.33 newtons meter but why we are getting negative here the negative means here the negative means that the direction we had assumed earlier is wrong in in reality the resultant movement is not counterclockwise it is clockwise the direction of resultant movement is clockwise So you could also write the same answer as some of the resultant moment, some of the moments about point O is equals to if you take clockwise as positive, then you can remove this negative sign and you could write it as 268.33 newtons meter. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions, any queries about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.